Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, and today I'm about to tell you how to uh, change net type or net status wide fucking open. Okay, there are a lot of tutorials out there in YouTube, all over the internet. Any of them explain this completely and fix the, all of the issues and problems. I'm trying to uh, do it quickly and don't waste your time. So, uh, we are about to check every fucking thing that relative to NAT. First of all, you should know what the hell is NAT, N-A-T. NAT uh, stand as NET address translation yeah that uh, that means uh, the NAT protocol change your uh, public address to your static or I don't know connect these two together and make you uh, able to connect and host peer-to-peer -peer connections all right check your uh, antivirus software you can have any software like Avira or you know, ESET node 32. Make sure all of their wi uh, firewalls are off. This uh, antivirus I got has no uh, network firewall or something like this on it. And the second and the most important thing you should to do is to make your IP static not valid just static how we should do it okay first of all you have to understand what is your uh, subnet mask or uh, default gateway or ip version 4 so you should run the uh, command prompt you can find it on oh search it on your window search cmd or command prompt or elsewhere I know you should know what the hell is <laughs> where the hell is it okay so write it write init IP config so after I just updated my Windows 10 it doesn't show anymore just these options maybe you have more of these types and uh, lines but never mind you just need these and you have <laughs> okay <laughs> once is ip4 ipv4 version 4 address and subnet mask and default gateway so first of all we are about to make my ip static okay easily you just right click on your icon that shows your network right click and open network and sharing center or you can have access access it from all control panel items and press network and sharing center then click change adapter settings right click on your uh, connection maybe you have Wi-Fi connection or like me LAN just right click on the right connection click on properties and internet protocol version 4 then press properties oh oh, oh sorry uh, I will make it <laughs> again okay 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 <laughs> like nothing happened so we do this again we have our IP now is uh, dynamic first of all you choose and use the following IP address let me get my IP again so now it says my IP address is 192.168.1.7 it's just uh, dynamic and it would change so NAT would not access you to make host or join you would write an IP address in the range of this IP one and use and type any number you want like 30 it would appear your 
Subnet mask. And in default gateway, you have to write this right here, as you can see. This is the IP address that you need to connect to your uh, router. Same here, as you can see. Maybe yours is different, but you can find it out here with the IP config command and write it right here. One and oh, one. And you can use different DNSs, DNS ad servers, addresses, but these are these are for Google. Uh, I guess <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I will write all of these in the comment section below and uh, just press OK. As you can see, it's trying to reconnect and find out my IP and the blah blah blah. My NAT is now is streaked. <laughs> it's so fucked up. Okay, this uh, particular uh, maybe help you completely, but maybe not. And the other option we have to check out is you have to go to your control panel and. Uh, let me see the large icons and find your Windows firewall and make sure it's all off. Even if you have your firewall off, uh, still firewall trying to block ports and software. So you should allow applications to connect in private or public connections like Ghost Recon. Oh! Okay, as you can see, my problem solved, but not work for all of you. You may have these issues too. So, as you can see, yeah, uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands is available, allowed in both public and private connections. Okay, so I don't have this problem. And again, we have to open your ports on your firewall. The easiest way is to just add all ports in your connection security roles. You don't need just to inbound roles or outbound roles. Easily you will make a new role and select custom and any IP addresses, <laughs> any endpoint addresses and what was that? Press do not un authenticate it. So it would it, it won't authenticate it. And press any protocol because uh, usually we need TCP and UDP. Mm, it would take so long time to choose TCP and a specific ports over and over and over again. Write your port and add and add. And I just choose this. Uh, yeah, blah blah blah. Any ports are open. And next and next and choose your whatever you need to write to just remember this. And it's done. Once for uh, UDP and the other one for TCP. I will do this for yeah, the rest of it. I thought it would maybe better. You know, I just to don't open all of these ports. So I just ch once choose for UDP and the other one for TCP. And you may do this and still have your NAT on stupid moderate. So, as I told you in the IP config, you have your default gateway address that connect you to your router. That's the IP. You need to put it in your web browser, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome or something like that. And in the beginning, it asks you a username or password. It's usually admin, admin, user and password is admin. Or, I don't know, admin123 or something like that. You can just Google it. So, after that, you need to check out and make sure your UPnP is enabled. Okay. And maybe some of you still have the fucking problem with NAT and it says you are moderate or strict. 
the last option you need to do is to make your uh, connection bridge i'll do i'll do it now okay let me just reboot my modem my router okay so now i just rebooted my uh, router hardware rebooted and everything that saved on my router has been removed and it's raw and there's nothing in it so i enter in my router menu still i have problem with this new uh mainware update okay my user is admin and password is like the others admin and i'll do some refreshes <laughs> okay so this is what you get first in the menu and vpi and vci are relative in your isp and if you have any problem with those you have to ask from your isp support we have no <laughs> uh, struggle with them and yeah if you had ppp over ethernet or pppoe connection you may have net issues make sure you have the bridging connection and just press yes yes next 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 and next <laughs> Dada, save and reboot <laughs> okay it would reset my router again and i will back that to you um most of time the pppoe uh, type of connection make firewall issues on router and and it has less security really and it causes a lot of problem on your net and you can also use pppoe and turn off your router hardware uh, firewall but sometimes it doesn't work i don't know but it doesn't work <laughs> uh, so i just try to do it i'm bridging okay so you had your uh, connection set on bridging and now because of that you need to create a new connection in the control panel you go to network and sharing center then click on set up a new connection or network and then click on connect to a to the internet and i had once i will just create new one and create a new connection and in this page click on pppoe and write your username and password click connect and it will be done i can write it right here you know <laughs> okay and it would appears here the name of your broadband connection you'll press just connect it would really help it would really fucking help first of all this was my fucking issue and i just struggled it a lot of time but give me a second oh, okay and now we're connected and this is the real important you guys i tried a lot of ways to forwarding port and just nothing to do with me and yeah as you can see my net is now open again well i hope you enjoy and thanks for watching see you in the next video